Thanks for clicking on one of my videos. If you like this video, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and use code CWC before you buy anything in game. It helps out a lot. Guys, this new attack is taking over Town Hall 13. We are seeing this thing all over the place. Everywhere from world-class players against world-class bases in the world's warm-up tournament. All right, and we're seeing it tripled just just like the first attack of the war boom they're going in wrecking a ton of bases with this a lot of other competitive wars against competitive war bases so i'm going to be showing you guys first of all a number of examples from some highly skilled players using this super easy spam attack because yes it is that strong and then at the end i'm going to go in live and show you guys how i'm going to use this as well in fact i got a little bit of a twist planned for this army so hang in there for that it's going to be a ton of fun now this base had all three single target inferno so i gotta say man this one wow how well suited was it he used six lightnings and a quake to zap one of the scatter shots on the side there and then you have a ton of free spells to either keep the remaining scatter shot on ice use your grand warden ability through it to save the witches and the super giants and when you're targeting the town hall in the back side of the base, you have a ton of freezes to take that out as well. Look at that. one of those freezes was used over on a single target Inferno up there, keeping that royal champion alive, making sure she would continue to get some more value after that single target Inferno was down. And look at this. Remaining freezes are going on that town hall because that town hall will roast through the remaining health on your heroes. You're any super giants, yetis out of the log launcher there. Uh, uh, definitely skellies and witches. So keeping it on ice so you can get it taken out is always an amazing call. And if you're, if you're trying to get that town hall on the back side of the base, you better make sure you have some freezes left for just that. And look at this, man. He's still got three, four heroes alive up until those last couple giant bombs went up. This base is annihilated. Next up, we got Tasa coming in once again. This base is also running three single target Infernos. Now, if you're wondering, oh, should I only use this on bases that are running three single target Infernos, man? No, no, but the more singles, the better, definitely. But tell you what, at the end, I'm gonna use a different variant on a base that has all three multi-target Infernos to show you this base is not limited to that. Now, these spread out type bases that are kind of the norm in uh, anti-three-star competitive war bases right now really seem to be a kind of a sweet spot for it check this out man once again zapped one of those scatter shots on the opener and then we've got just like a wall deployment out here dude of those super giants and the witches i like put the corners down first couple super giants three or four witches depending on how many buildings are out there that way we cut in the corners first and make sure that the main group is going to go into the core time that grand warden ability at a time that's going to keep as many of your troops alive as possible but it can also be used when your log launcher gets targeted early look at that his log launcher was really low on health so we use the grand warden ability to keep not only his troops invincible but that log launcher as well so it continue opening up walls access to the town hall and get some early Really damage in on it as well we got a royal champion working around on the left and we got a ton of troops doing some amazing work over on the top side of this base now look for these free spells to come in beautiful freezes there freezing that town hall damage freezing a single target inferno now if i was him i'd probably be using those freezes either keep the royal champion alive as long as possible or maybe freeze that remaining scatter shot right there because that thing nothing wants to target the scatter shot dude all the defenses all the way around it are down but the scatter shot is still alive sure enough he's going to be using his last few free spells to do double duty like i said man keep the royal champion alive and keep that scatter shot on ice once again this time he's going to be swagging a free spell there's nothing left in this base that can stop this remaining army and look at this army of skeletons just running along dude towards the end there base crushed next attack also by tasa looks like he's six packed with this army now we're seeing it with some super Super wall breakers in the mix as well. Once again, six lightnings, one quake. Look for that those bad boys to take out one of those scatter shots. Unless he decides he'd rather get the two multi-target infernos in the core, which may be, man, as far as witches, two multis. I don't know, man. I'd probably put the same amount of stock in that as I would uh one of the scatter shots. So it'll be really interesting to see where he uses these lightning spells at on this attack, man. Here we go, working his way through the base he opened up access with the wall breakers to two of the main compartments log launcher is going to open up access 
into the core. Grand Warden ability going to keep that core group invincible as it goes in to do battle with those multi-target infernos in the core. Sure enough, back left side Scattershot is the one that is going to be getting the lightning spells. And he's going to be freezing the double multi. Beautiful. He recognized that those multis were so close together. You could get them both with one freeze. And... Oh man, amazing adjustment on that attack right there. Now, he's still got four free spells remaining. Look for those bad boys to be used, keeping that Town Hall on ice. Now, Royal Champion is doing some battle up on the top left. Other than the Town Hall, there's really nothing left to this base, man. Oh my goodness, this is wild stuff. Queen has been locked onto by the single target Inferno. He's going to have to burn another freeze or pop her ability. He elects to pop her ability there. Single target Inferno is down. Now, Royal Champion is coming up on the Town Hall, but she gets distracted by some skeletons. Luckily for him, they got she got distracted outside of the range of the Town Hall. Now, he's going to be able to use those free spells to keep this Town Hall on ice. Royal Champion can't reach it. Grand Warden still can. Next free spell. Oh my god, Royal Champion holds on by a sliver to take down the Town Hall at the very last second. It's the last building remaining. That was crazy. Now, on this base, man, I noticed we had two single target Infernos, but I also noticed that we had a multi right at the entry. If I try and put any witches or giants there, they're going to get burned up. They're going to disappear. But I got to funnel this area to get into the town hall. So I actually elected to zap the multi since it was right there on the entry. That means I'm going to have to deal with two scatter shots. But hopefully I can time that Grand Warden ability to cover not only the Town Hall Blast and damage, but also some of the damage coming in from those two scatter shots as well. If I can get it wall breaks into the base, then I can jump into the core all the way through to the back half side of the base. Now, we've got the Giants and Witches coming in i'm trying to get wall breaks on both of those edge sections right there i want to be sure that my troops can get in there and get those get those compartments cleared out log launcher has activated the town hall and it is also opening up the walls we're going to keep that town hall on ice for a little bit make sure that my core push can get in there and take out some of this stuff now we've got it all opened up thanks to that log launcher and that town hall is getting ready to go down there we go now we've got Got two scatter shots just raining down damage on my witches and my heroes so i use my last remaining freeze to try and keep one of those bad boys on ice admittedly man this was a tough one but you don't get to choose which base you pick man you just got to do the best that you can with it now on this backside, we got no multis left. We got no scatter shots left. We got singles. We got a ton of point defenses and two wizard towers on the far back. That means that the the witch, witches that are surviving, all those skellies that are spawning out in front, those skellies are going to be able to do some really good tanking. Royal Champion's down on that bottom quadrant, but she is getting ready to go down. We still got a queen with full health. We got still got witches on the board spawning skellies. We just need those skellies to rush out in front of the queen and do some good tanking for her guys this one is going to come down to the wire but that queen ability comes in clutch to get through that wall grab grab those last two structures and guys this one is getting super close check this out man since i wasn't able to zap one of those scatter shots i lost a lot of those troops on that drive but i knew i had to get that corner taken out to have any hope of getting any troops into that core skellies get out in front of the queen they're tanking for her beautifully because of that extra skelly tanking there those witches and skellies surviving queen is going to be able to finish off this triple for me now it's time for the live attack i'm going in live i'm going to be using a blizzard opener with this and i'm going to be going in i'm going to try and find a base that's got three multi-target infernos let's see if we can take it out all right, guys, here we go. Super Giant Witch Spam with the Blizzard Twist at the opener there. We're using Hound for the tanking. He's got so many multi-target Infernos. Ugh. I hate all those multis, man. Honestly, I'm going to try and take a multi and a scattershot combo out. That is going to be my goal. Because that is just too many freaking multis scatter shots is too much splash damage is what it is we're gonna go hound blimp we're gonna try and pop this blimp right between the scatter shot and the multi there we go that's a good spot two three four one two 
three, four, one, two, three, four. If we can complete that funnel out there, all right? That's what I would like to accomplish. Now, super giant and some witches. You know what? We will also get the king and the queen moving along through here because they're going to be able to kill that super minion that's still up there in the CC. I do have a freaking poison. With the blizzard, a lot of times you really don't need it because it's a freaking blizzard and it, the chain damage kills a lot of the CCs. Get some wall breakers in here. We're trying to full send into this town hall section here. And we're going to be popping this grand warden ability right about there. There we go. Now, we're going to start heading into the core. And we're also going to begin freezing this scatter. Ooh, I like that wall break. We're going to keep freezing the scatter. We're going to send the RC over here for this multi. And we're going to go ahead and freeze the multi. Try and keep these witches surviving as long as possible into the core of this base. There we go. Now, I'm thinking Eagle and Final Multi-Target Inferno is going to be the subject of our last freeze spell. Come on, baby. And we're going to use this poison for these skellies. Pop that RC ability. Oh, we took out the Grand Warden platform. That's what I'm talking about. Checking for buildings. There we go. Minion down. I think Queen's going to be able to clean this up, boys. What do you think? She's not going for the Eagle. Why are you not going for the Eagle, Queen? Are we really going to save the Eagle for the very last structure on this entire base? Are you kidding me, Queen? Come on. You are actually killing me right now. I'm dying. I'm dying watching her do this right now. Yes, she's going through the wall. We're going to pop that ability. Get through the wall. 16 seconds remaining. Eagle is down. Tornado. No, 10 seconds. We got archers for the triple on the final gold storage. Yes. Got it done in time. Dude, that was against a base with three multi-target infernos. Are you kidding me, dude? We just witch spammed a base with three multi-target infernos, and we got it wrecked. Yeah, guys, I guess this army is a little bit broken, because that was crazy. I'll see you in the next video.